I use this phrase, uh, public service in the private sector, just to get across the point that when we talk about public service, people should not just think that you have to have a, a full-time job in the government. Although I think it's important for people to consider government careers, whether elected or appointed, because we, you know, to make a democracy work, you need good people to get in there and, 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 seek, and seek to make it work. But everyone has an opportunity, even if, you know, if they're practicing law or practicing medicine or in, or in business or in the entertainment world, whatever, to do significant and substantial public service. And of course, that's, a, uh, that's very much, I think, a heritage that comes down to us from the ancient Greeks. Mm -hmm. And it was certainly always stressed in, in, uh, in the household in which I grew up, this sort of responsibility or obligation to render public service. I mean, I tell this story most, I guess, a lot of people have heard it, but for the sake of those who haven't, uh, the ancient Greeks, of course, put a high premium on that. And they looked with some scorn on people who did not contribute to the community, just led a private life just for themselves. They had a word for such a person. The word was idiotis. Mm -hmm. And our word idiot comes from that word. So I always say to young Greek Americans, whatever you be, don't be an idiot. That's <laughs> <laughs>